Let's look at some of the guidelines in defining shelf life of foods. In defining shelf life, we need to keep in mind the following items about foods. First, that foods do maintain a dynamic state. They are physically, chemically, and biologically dynamic. Their quality attributes continue to change, mostly deteriorating. There are a few exceptions, for example, wine and cheese, where the quality may improve with storage. For each food, under steady conditions, there is a certain time period during which the product retains a desirable level of sensory quality and safety. This uh, period of time varies with specific commodities and the intended use of definition, for example, in uh, marketing or for meeting certain government regulations. So this period of time can also be defined as the shelf life of the food product. Now, if we want to develop a more objective definition of shelf life, we can look at some work that was done in 1960s on storage of frozen foods by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Through that work, there were two definitions that were developed that can be helpful to us uh, in examining shelf life of foods. The first one is high quality life of frozen foods. Remember, this work was done mainly for storage of frozen foods. So this high quality life, the acronym is HQL, is the time elapsed between the freezing of an initially high quality product and the moment when by sensory assessment a statistically significant difference from the initial high quality that is immediately after freezing can be established and this is called just noticeable difference. So in other words, if you have a triangular test for quality assessment, then a just noticeable difference can be postulated when 70% of the experienced tasters successfully distinguish the product from the control sample that is stored under such conditions as have been proven to produce no detectable degradation during the time under consideration. So in other words, you need first of all a control sample that has had no change during that storage period. Now in case of frozen foods, if you store a frozen food at minus 40 degrees Celsius, then there will be no detectable degradation. So your control sample is stored at minus 40 degrees C, whereas the other samples are stored at other storage conditions. The second definition developed in that study done back in 1960s is called the practical storage life of frozen foods or PSL. This is the period of frozen storage after freezing during which the product retains its characteristic properties and remains suitable for consumption or the intended process. Now, when we look at these two definitions, the HQL and PSL, note that HQL is a more strict method to determine the changes in quality attributes, whereas the PSL, the practical storage life, gives us a definition that may be useful in commercial trade. So in summary, for any definition to be used as a working tool, further guidelines are usually needed. That is, the meaning of sensory quality has to be accurately defined and appropriate methods of measuring it and the criteria for setting acceptability limits must be discussed. These are some of the topics that we will be examining in more detail in some of the other tutorials.